everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an AFK bot for Skype. Uh, now what this is, is you can switch it on and let's say you're going out, you can switch it on. If someone sends you a message, it will automatically send them a message back, send whatever you want. So it's fairly straightforward, but it's pretty cool that if you have a lot of people message you, messaging you about something. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to make that. Uh, this time we're going to be using Visual Basic like always, but some people always get it confused. So when you're on the new project screen, select Visual Basic and Windows Form Application, and I'll just call this AFK Bot and create that. Now once that's created, we're going to import the Skype 4.com library. So we can go to Project, uh, and we can go down to Add a Reference, and I already have it here because I used it in the past. It's on my desktop. Um, I'll supply a download in the description for that if you're new and haven't messed with Skype before. But yeah, you want to download that, select it, you can just browse your PC and find it, and you want to press OK. Now once that's in your project, you want to double click on it so we can go into the code. And what we want to do is, at the very top, we just want to import imports skype 4com lib and that will allow us to interact with skype now through our program now we just want to create a new instance of skype so we can use it so we can say dim with events uh, we call that skype as new skype and now we can use that uh, so we just want to create a few things in the design so what we're going to have is a checkbox so we can enable it and disable it uh, we can also have a text box so you can decide what message you want to send each time so you can actually change it and maybe we can have uh, a list box so you can see who sent your message while you are away uh, we'll sort the design out of this in a bit but for now we can just go ahead and make it a little better uh, I'll just leave it like that and we can call this go AFK like that so that'll do for now now in our code what we want to do is create a a new function which will handle the message status within Skype so we can call this driver sub and we'll call it message status and it needs two parameters, one being the chat message and the chat message status. So we have to give it a name. We can just, uh, we'll call it C message, short for chat message. And that'll be as a chat message, like so. And the other one we can call chat or C status, short for chat status. And that'll be as a T chat status, message status. There we go. And that is going to handle Skype dot message status now inside this function is where we're going to have all our code because this is going to monitor all messages coming in and out of Skype um, so now we can use this and create some stuff so what we want to do is we want to say if the C status is equal to and this is all the different message types obviously we want the received uh, we, we can have sending but you don't really for the AFK bot we just want to receive messages and check if we've received one so if that has happened so each time we receive a message we want to do something now what we want to do is reply to them whatever this text box says and then we want to add them to our list so we know who sent us a message maybe if you want to message them back or something like that later on uh, and also we obviously only want to do it if obviously it's on enabled so that is checkbox one so we can say if checkbox uh, checkbox one dot checked is equal to true then this is where we'll do our code else uh, we don't really want to do nothing so I'll just comment that out do nothing um, so we need to create just under here something that we can access the current chat that the person sending us so we can say dim we can call that c chat as a chat and that will be equal to our actual chat message c 
message dot chat like so now we can use that to interact with the current chat so that basically means the current chat so when we receive we want to use the current chat uh, C chat and we want to send that chat back a message and the message we want to send is our text box so that is text box one dot text like so so now each time we've received the message when it's enabled it's going to send them back whatever's here now what we want to do is add that to our list box we can say list box one dot items dot add and what we can say in here is we can just say message from and we want to put a space just here so the next thing we add will it will have the space already so we can say plus and what we can say here is c message dot sender dot handle now what that will do is display the person's handle that sent the message so it will be message from and their name this would be the handle though if you want to display their actual just their name you can put full name like so and that will be that uh, there's a few things you can add to make this better but that is pretty much all you need to do so we could launch that up now and once you've launched it up you need to go to Skype and you should have to uh, if you're new to doing this stuff sorry this is small I can't really move it it's a bit difficult if you're new to doing this stuff actually I'm terribly sorry I did something totally wrong we didn't even connect to Skype so in form loads we just want to say uh, Skype <coughs> dot attach and that will actually now attach us to Skype so now we should get the message we want to allow it access because it's trying to connect which it has now uh, we can move this over and I've got a test account here on my phone to send a message um, so let me just log into that as well we want to go AFK and the message will say is I'm currently away so now if I send a message to this account now I'll just say hi and then you see it's automatically replied I'm currently away and you can see it's a message from Trujan Skype which is my name sorry you can't see it I just obviously didn't make this big enough but that is the basics of this AFK bot you can see I messaged it and instantly you see I can type another message uh, I'll just put a question mark and send that and you can see again I'm currently away now this will work for absolutely everyone you can do certain things with this uh, which I'll show you so let's do some more things let's say you want to see how message it, how many messages you got uh, let's say while you were away so we can add a label we grab that and we can just add a little total here so you get an idea of how many people actually messaged you so you can say total and then we want to copy that again because this is the one we're actually going to be changing by default it will be zero so let's just put that there and each time uh, where, what's happened each time we get a message what we want to do is say label to dot text is equal to list box one dot items dot count so now each time we get a message this will update first and then this number is going to update with how many items are in, within here and I'll show you that working in a second something else you may also want is having this text box saving the text so you don't have to write out your message each time uh, to do that you just want to click your text box in the properties on the right you want to scroll down until you find application settings if you press a little plus here I go to property bindings and select this little box of three dots uh, you'll get a little browser come up here and where it says text you want to drop down here like that and press new and we can just call this AFK message let's say and press OK and press OK again so now if I open the tool up and let's say I typed my AFK message here and I closed it actually uh, there's one thing I did forget it won't actually save so to save this you need to come in your form load and where it says load up here you want to click it 
and you want to scroll up until you find form closing. Now double click that and it will generate this form closing sub for us. And in here what you want to say is uh, my dot settings dot save. And now every time the form closes it will automatically save all of our stuff. So let's say you did that for more than one everything will be saved. So we can launch that up really quick. Uh, and I will show you that again that this count will go up. So let me just go onto the mobile and I'll send a message. Hi. Obviously, it wouldn't say I'm currently away because uh, I'm not AFK. So let me quickly tick that. Hi. So now it sent our message. It's told us who it's from and it's obviously got one now. So let's just do that again, see if it goes up. And there we go now it's two and that will just go and go and go so you get an idea of how many people did it now you see our afk message if i were to shut that and let's say i open that back up now what will happen you see the message is saved and it's still here so it's just ease of access and it will save it from last time uh, so that's pretty much it for what i wanted to show you uh, before i end the video i'll show you that there's multiple things you can do um let's say the c message Dot sender lets you control that person sending the message so you can blacklist people uh, you can do all kinds of things just with cmessage.sender um, you'll see if I type it cmessage.sender and there's a whole lot of stuff you can see about the person sending the message uh, so I'll leave that to your imagination what you want to do with this um, there's a whole lot of things that I've personally done on different projects and with this but this is just an AFK bot. Um, it looks really shitty the way I've made it, but obviously you want to make it look a lot better. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.